Welcome back to the best offensive player in the country and arguably the best defensive player in the country, Connor Schellenberger and Ajax to the Lincoln Financial Field Stadium. Double bagel, the great Connor Schellenberger, 0.0 assists. He's held Schellenberger to just one goal today. Zapatello clearly winning his matchup. Maryland clearly in control of this game. Spoke to Ajax this week and he credited Jesse Bernhardt not only for being his defensive coordinator, but the mentorship that goes with that. They sit down. We're in the third the quarter play. still, Many and who knows? And just rep some of the dodging patterns that he's likely to see on game. And we are underway man, still. Oh, he started the third quarter already. Right. When he come here, come here to Philadelphia. Two, two dinners in a row with Matiano. That's a lot of cards. You know, you look at this offense for Virginia, and it's been a masterful defensive performance by Maryland, but Kevin sees the offensive coordinator in the huddle just now. He emphasized to his group, you have to make contact with the picks. Now, the problem is, if you watch Ajax Zapatel and a lot of these close defenders from Maryland, they're playing through the picks in terms of their body and the way they get through. Getting underneath, yeah, yeah it's next level. Millen works on Canfield. He got banged up last week. Your shots, oh! Took a big hit, bounced off Kolar. Shuts again, left hand, McManey the save. Only the eighth shot on goal for Virginia. McManey gobbles rebounds, does a nice job of seizing the moment around the net. He's got a bunch of brown balls to his credit in this game as well. Clark, you were at Hofstra last week, where in the second half, Maryland had nine goals and held Duke to nine shots. That Luke Weirman does to you. I mentioned in the first half, if you're not careful and you let the Terps to hang around, he strangles the life out of any type of philosophy you have offensively and defensively. I saw the Duke short stick D middies who were, for my money, the best in the country. Aiden McGuire and Jack Gray and Jake Caputo. They were so gashed by the fourth quarter because of the possessions and the length of the possessions that Maryland had. Just no juice left. Thank you. How, how's Virginia's juice right now, Clark? I don't see it. What's the feeling you get? I feel like it's down. When I was in the huddle, just the body language and the overall fight. It, it seemed, to be honestly, like they've been defeated. That was a tough shot there by Millen. Almost a desperation heave. Five saves for McNaney. They don't get easier than that. Logan made it back from that. Zapatello thought about putting one on cage, but I don't think Maryland's going to give Virginia an opening here. They handle the ride. Morris gets back in net. Spanos off the scramble. Sco scores! We are on roll! Quint, you were very astute in terms of Cole Kastner and breaking this ride from Virginia. They are forcing him to commit to one side and then the redirect, which opens up the middle, and then it's a numbers game. Kind of under pressure. Just simply brilliant right here. You deal with the check. You go one-handed there for the cradle. You know Spanos is open on the back side, and you throw it to space. Great clear. Burlace handling, he face dives, and then he gets to celebrate. John Tillman spent an, an enormous amount of time this week dealing with repping the Virginia ride. His scout team deserves tons of credit for the good looks. We watched it yesterday in practice for 20 minutes on a Friday. And you, you wonder why Maryland clears and rides with such efficiency in May. Yeah, well, think of it this way. If Cole Kastner's a free safety, it's almost like a quarterback using his eyes or misdirection to get the safety to bite one way. That's what they're doing in the clear game. You can't cover both sides of the field. And the failure to clear, typically against a 10-man, is when you try to run it up one side and you corner yourself and you bring the sideline in as an extra defender. So Maryland, when they get that ball reversal, it's kind of like a two-way go. And they put Caster 
as the free safety. He's got to cover a wide out on both hash marks. Like, I can't get there. Maryland has been the puppet master. Whittier to Spanos. This was unpredictable, though. I mean, come on. Five losses. If you're wondering, only three teams with five or more losses have ever won a national championship. Virginia did it in 2011. Steel Stanwick and the Cavaliers beat Maryland in the title game. That was John Tillman's first season in College Park. Duke did it in 2013 when Brendan Fowler won every faceoff against Syracuse. And North Carolina did it to Maryland in 2016. Unseated Tar Heels led Kamara New for the Women's Lacrosse Championship. Northwestern will face against Boston College, and the winner of that game will be the national champions. Again, the winner of that championship game will be the national champions. This is how we will end the women's across season. So give the players a lot of credit for not turning on one another when you have a team that was so dominant defensively and struggling on offense. Terenzi, skip pass. Schellenberger brings it in. Shot clock under 20. Virginia just struggling to get a shot. They do. It misses the cage. Think about the task for Virginia right now. You're down by seven and through almost three quarters. You've only had nine shots on goal the entire game. Millen. Less than 10 to shoot. Schellenberger lost it. Zapatella all over him. Shot clock at two. Maryland's bench applauds the defensive effort. This is a master class of defense. Owning one-on-one -on -one matchups, but switching in the middle of the possession. An example we have, are taking in the lead, a large the lead, ball, by seven. When he had the ball, I can tell you that I know Maryland Terrapin is also one of my favorite teams as well. And, you know, final minutes in the third quarter. You give John Tillman a week to prepare and look out. His overall tournament record, John Tillman, is 30 and 10. Five of those losses are in the national final game. They only have one day to prepare. So that makes him, what, 28 and 5 with a week to prepare in games outside of Memorial Day in the NCAA tournament since coming to College Park. Lars Tiffany, 13 and 2 in the NCAA tournament at Virginia. And there is history here, as we've said, 2019 controversial quarterfinals. Virginia, when they had the fairy dust. Got that call off the crossbar, that shot misses, and beat Maryland in overtime 2021. One of the best championship games we've seen. Virginia over Today, Maryland we have some fans from the University of Maryland and University of Virginia. Vanquished Virginia in the quarterfinals and route to a perfect season. If you're Notre Dame and you're watching this game, I think the hardest thing for Kevin Corgan is going to be to convince his team that Maryland. Oh, is no. That will do it. They've got a seven goal lead on Virginia. That will do it for the third quarter during the second half. When we come back, we'll be all down to this. I would say we will definitely will win this game against Virginia since our score is very large. Jer. We'll be right back. Fourth quarter's next.